I'm Jonathan Rothberg, co-founder and chairman of Raindance Technologies, and it is my privilege to talk to you today about what makes Raindance so special. Raindance Technologies' unique combination of people, technologies, and vision truly makes it the product of the power of collaborative innovation. Raindance Technologies designed the professional laboratory system to be the chemical equivalent of a personal computer. The key to our innovation is the novel combination of micro droplets and microfluidics to create and root digital packets of chemical information called nanoreactors. The personal laboratory system is a versatile lab on a chip, able to perform laboratory functions at speeds and complexities not possible with existing instruments. Like a computer manipulates bits of information, the PLS enables the programmable handling of fluid samples for innovative biological, chemical, material science, energy, and medical applications. This vision, a Raindance personal laboratory system in every lab, our technology, and the Raindance potential for significant impact across life sciences, healthcare, and energy has attracted amazing people to Raindance. This includes a diverse set of founders, a scientific advisory board with three Nobel Prize winners, a knowledgeable board of directors, and great business leadership. Enabling this vision is a collaborative team of technologists, including chemists, engineers, biologists, physicists, programmers, all working together. In summary, we are creating a new category, a general purpose machine to transform laboratory work. Much like a personal computer and the internet has transformed by manipulating bits, the PLS has the potential to be transformational by manipulating packets of matter. When asked what country best facilitates starting a technology company, I had to rethink my answer to this classic question, historically framed by why is the United States the place for a startup? While Raindance happens to be started in the United States, our stakeholders are not geographically constrained. Raindance was founded with individuals from Cambridge, England, Andrew Griffith, Parrish, Jerome Babette, and Cambridge, Boston, Darren Link, and David Waits. So we really are focused on getting the best people to work together no matter where they are from. While the U.S. is a great place to launch a company because of the access to capital and individuals who are willing to take risk, we now have people who share the sense of risk and adventure in a startup from countries around the world and now have people operating in Europe as well as the United States. I don't think there is one formula for making an innovator. Parts that clearly go into being an innovator include the motivation to make a difference, the ability to combine solutions that have not been brought together before, a willingness to take risks, but risk where you are controlling the odds, and the ability to formulate a vision. Factors that improve the likelihood of being a successful innovator include individuals that believe in you unconditionally, even when you may not be sure of success yourself. However, maybe the most important trait in an innovator is flexibility. The flexibility to let your vision have impact in unanticipated ways. Louis Pasteur's chance favors the prepared mind. In my case, I founded Raindance because of my passion to have an impact on orphan and childhood diseases. I wanted a tool that would keep up with the rapid pace in gene sequencing in order to turn the knowledge from the human genome and now personal genomes into medicines at a cost and with an efficacy never before possible. I wanted to transform the way basic biological research was being done. This motivation led me and led to the vision for Raindance and a general purpose laboratory system, the laboratory equivalent of the personal computer. My past innovation, the invention of 454 sequencing, the first sequencing on a chip, was motivated by my son's visit to the newborn intensive care unit and my desire that night to sequence his genome. However, it was a willingness and a flexibility to take advantage of opportunities that led to discovering what was killing the honeybee and the sequencing, sequencing of the Neanderthal genome, all with 454 technology. Both prior to being able to actually use 454 sequencing to sequence the first individual human genome on a chip. And by that time, it was Jim Watson's genome because by then my son was eight years old, 
healthy, happy, and playing hockey. So I believe one key factor of being an innovator is the motivation to make a difference and the flexibility to allow your innovation to have impact in unexpected places. In Rain Dance's case, while my motivation was again personal, the desire to make drugs rapidly from the human genome, I can see its immediate impact in fields as diverse as improving enzymes for ethanol production, fixing carbon by green algae, or sorting stem cells. Rain Dance was set up to do things in ways never before possible, to make drugs faster, to fundamentally improve the way laboratory research is undertaken. To date, Rain Dance's technology has been applied to drug discovery, life science research, enzyme evolution, and diagnostic applications. It is our vision, our dream, to put a Rain Dance laboratory system in labs around the world to impact the way individuals and groups do research and development. For example, Beyond enabling new medicines, Rain Dance technology has the potential to be enabling for the development of new enzymes critical to the biofuels industry, studying green algae, and detecting rare biomarkers for diagnostics. All areas that can have a profound impact on both improving the state of the world and directly on those we love.